Hey everyone, I just scraped up my leg on my table here. Um, so, hey, it's Friday night. So if I get anybody to watch this, I will be amazed. Um, and um, I want to apologize for not being on more this week. Seems like everything happened this week and it was exhausting. And I don't know if it has to do with the time change. Um, but I also had to do bills on Wednesday night and that takes two hours and I'm not doing a live after I do bills because I do mine and my mom's at the same time. Um, so, so yeah, so that's where I'm at. Um, what else is going on? My room's a mess and I don't even have my stuff behind me because I haven't done anything Christmas wise because I'm waiting for my Christmas transfers to come in. I mean, I have some, but, um, they're pretty big and I am a little intimidated right now. And I want to try to do a couple on my own because sometimes when I'm doing the lives, I feel like, like I'm rushed. Um, like I have to, like I have to keep doing stuff in order to keep people, um, interested in what I'm doing. So I feel like I'm kind of rushing myself, which I don't want to do. Um, I know that people want to learn how to do this. I'm not an expert. I want to be an expert and that's why I, that's why I'm doing this. Um, but, uh, but I think with the bigger transfers, I'm going to the, the, the not even the bigger, but the more intricate transfers I want to try on my own before I actually do them on camera. Um, I am going to try and get to a big transfer tonight, um, but it's gonna be last because they have to be washed right away and I can't leave the camera and wash this because I have to take it to the bathtub. I have to wash this in the bathtub. Um, and it has to be done right away. I can't, I don't even have anything big enough for this to soak in. So, um, so we'll do this one last, but this is a Buffalo plaid and I think it's going to be really cool. Um, I don't know. I think we'll discuss colors while we're, uh, doing the inking tonight and then we can decide what color we're going to do because I want to put it on this big tag. Okay. So I, I'm thinking, um, red or black um, because I want to do something Christmassy with it. Okay. So that's something to think about. I'm just going to set that aside, but I want to show you guys that um, last week we did this with the ink. We put it on the mug. So we're going to use this transfer with the paste or no, we're going to use it with ink, but we're going to use it on cloth this time. And I thought, what better thing to put it on than a face mask, right? Because we all have these plain face masks that are just, I mean, it's like wearing a pair of underwear on your face, really. Um, and wouldn't it be nice to pretty it up, right? So I was thinking, one, I want to use the Chalk Couture um, uh, label. And, um, and then I want to see, I don't think I have anything small enough Christmas wise to put on here, but Hey, there's people joining me. Hi, Kim. Hi, Heather. Hi, Melissa M. Hey, we got a party going on here now. I should have brought the wine. Oh my God. It's downstairs. Derek would never bring it up for me. He'd be like, get to work, Jen. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so we'll do, um, an ink transfer on here. We also, I want to do a t-shirt and I would like to do the back of this bag. See, that's me and my boy, Toby. Isn't he adorable? He's gone now, but he was adorable. Um, and I want to do chalk couture across the back of this as well. Okay. So without further ado, I'm going to do this mask using the couture teal. Okay. And, um, and I think I'm going to do the t-shirt with the velvet black. 
black velvet, just like the whiskey. Okay. And I'm not sure. Oh, I have, I have this really nice, um, tied. And I think I'm going to use that on the back of my bag because I really like this color. And I did use this for a t-shirt, but you really couldn't tell because the t-shirt was gray. So, and, and the lettering was thin. So, um, so I didn't use it for that, but I want to use it for the back of my bag. I think it'll look really nice. Okay. So let's get started on that. And the first thing you need to know when you're, um, using the ink from Chocotour is, um, to have something sticky to put it down on. And they do have the sticky mats. I don't have one of theirs. Um, I have one from a brother printer that I sent back to the company, uh, not a printer, the, the cutting machine. Um, I sent it back to the company and I forgot to send back the cutting mat. So I'm going to go grab that. It's huge. It's huge. Um, and I might as well grab that t-shirt too. Okay. All right, so um, let me see what I have for my transfers. I went through and I cut my transfers, some of them, into smaller pieces. So let's see, I'm going to put that right there for now. All right, so tonight, Mm -hmm. So some of them open from the bottom and some of them open from the top. So let's see. So, hey, Christina. Um, so I'm going to use this. Okay. And I'm going to ink that onto the mask. All right. And what better way for people to find out about Chalk Couture than wear it on your face. Right. So, I think that's what I'll do. And when my Christmas um, transfers come in, I should have some smaller ones that will fit on these. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do those as well with the ink that I have because I think that would be fun to have something Christmassy or something Thanksgivingy. Um, I think my gobble to your wobble will fit on that, um, which would be cool. But I don't have, I don't have a bunch of different colors for that gobbler. So, I don't know. I could do it in black and it would still look cool. I could do it in any color and it would still look cool, I guess. So, I'm just going to adjust this just a little bit. Because I feel like, there, that's better. Okay. I really feel like I look like I got punched in the face. So, I didn't, but I feel like I'd look like I did. So, all right. So this, this one I'm going to put on the back of my bag. So I'm going to set that one aside. And I forgot that I'm going to do the bigger one on the t-shirt. Let me get that one out of here. So, you got a delivery today. Oh, I bet you you're happy. I did not get a delivery and I'm not expecting a delivery until Saturday night, which will make it Monday. Um, so I will not have my Christmas transfers this weekend, but that's okay. I got plenty to work with, but Melissa's going to have a fun weekend. All right. So this is the one that I'm going to put on my t-shirt which is a nice size. Okay. And this is going to be black because it's going on gray and that'll, that'll stand out. Okay. And I have the smaller version for this. So let's just get started. Probably don't even have to pull the whole thing off of here. Either. I'll just do that. So you just need something stable for this to sit on. And you want to make sure with these masks that you have it the right way. Because there is a right way and a wrong way. So there's actually a front and a back. So 
So basically, I mean, you can iron these before you, before you do it, but you don't have to. Hey, Bonnie's here. Hi, Bonnie. Um, the, uh, when you're done, you're going to want, you're going to heat set it with an iron. You're going to let it sit for like 24 hours so that it's totally dry. And, um, and then you'll take a piece of parchment paper, lay it over what you already inked, and then, um, and then you'll iron it each side for four minutes. So, all right. And because it's going on cloth, you don't have to, um, fuzz it. Okay. Now I'm thinking, I'm going to set it to the side a little bit. And because I don't want it under my chin and I don't want it like smack dab over my mouth. Plus if I want to add something, if I can find something like for Christmas, I could have this and then add like the little deer head that's from the chalk couture, um, uh, package for December, December, November. Um, and I could put the little deer head next to it. That would be really cute. So, so I'm just pushing it down. Making sure it's on there really good. And I'm going to grab a squeegee. And I'm going to grab a mini. It's not really big. I think I'm going to use the, uh, I think I'm going to use the small, which is this one. I think I'm going to use that for this one. And I'll clean it off and probably use it for this one as well. Maybe not. Maybe I'll use a mini for that one. Okay, and we're going to use the Couture Teal, or yeah, we're going to use this for this. And just remember with the ink, the ink is permanent, so if it lands on anywhere else than when, where you want it to land, it's, it's there, okay? So with me, that will probably happen, because I'm good at that. And you want to go in one direction. You don't want to go back and forth, side to side, um, with the with the ink, okay. And the ink can stay on your transfer um, longer, okay. It doesn't dry like the paste does. It takes a while for it to dry. So I just like going over it and making sure that it's on there. So I'm going to pull that up and remember, not from the corner, you're going to pull it up from the side. Okay. I'm just going to drop this in here for a second. I'm going to pull this up. And this is going to have to dry. I don't know, guys. I don't know. This one, I think I probably should have. I don't know, maybe it's the material, but it looks like it filled in a little bit, which hasn't happened to me before. So we'll see how it is once it dries and once I iron it, but I'm going to set this aside because I don't want it getting, I don't want it to touch anything else. Okay. All right. So that's it for the couture teal. Got that in there. But yeah, be really careful with your inks because they will, they will stain wherever they drop. Okay. Now time for the t-shirt. This is my favorite summer exercise t-shirt. I love it. It's cool. It's light and it's just, it's perfect for wearing out for a nice walk. So I figure what better way? to advertise that I'm selling Chalk Couture then to put it on my t-shirt. So I'm really hoping that I get it in the right spot. Okay. And feel free to ask questions. Oh, let's see. I accidentally ordered two winter wishes foxes. If you want one, it has little snowflakes that would be cute on the mask. Um, Geez, Melissa, maybe I do. Let me think about it. Um, I actually have to look at it. I can't remember what it looked like. But um, 
Yeah, that sounds cool. You're awesome, girl. Um, okay, so I want to make sure that this is straight. I'm sorry. Um, there. I think that's, that's better. Okay. So now let me just make sure all the wrinkles get out of this. Okay, and again, this is on something sticky. Also, this helps to keep the ink from bleeding through onto the back of the shirt. Okay. So we got it down. And this one's a little bit bigger, so the lines are a little bit thicker. And hopefully it um, keeps it from running into the letters. Okay. Um, because I think with my other one with the mask, like the U looked like it had been filled in. So we'll see. We'll see. Shoot, guys. Shoot. You know what? Just let me clean that off really, really quick. I just don't want to ruin that. Um, where's, where's my towel? It's right here. Okay. Cleaning it off is really, really simple, and it's really quick. So I'm acting like it's a big pain in the butt, but it's not. Okay. So just basically pulling it out of the water, wiping the front of it down where I put the, um, this is the bad one. I'm throwing that one away. Um, that one. Ugh. Okay. Sorry guys. I'm spraying this down. Actually, I'm rinsing it in the water again because it had glitter on it from the shimmer paste. And I don't want that all over my transfer. So, and I don't know. That one had shimmer all over it. So you just, and that's why I'm sorry I'm out of the, the window here for cleaning it, but I don't want it on that part of the towel now. Um, so you just basically wipe it down with that and then take the wipe and wipe the back of it where the sticky part is. That will help it dry faster because of the alcohol in here and it also keeps it sticky for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and I'm just gonna set it aside and let it dry. I'm gonna put this aside, put this aside, put that aside, and I'm back. So one minute of cleaning. And you have a lifetime use, lifetime use, eight to 12 uses. Okay, so, all right, so I'm going to put this, and this looks about right. That looks about right. So I'm going to set it down on here. And make sure that, sorry guys, I'm going to have to stand up and eyeball it because I just want to make sure that it's centered. I really like this shirt and I don't want it ruined. But it really does look like it's centered. Okay. All right, so I'm putting it on the fabric, right? And like I said before, when you use these for ink, you can use them for the paste and you can also use them for etching, which I haven't done any etching yet, but I'm going to, okay? I can't wait to try the etching. I think it'll be really, really neat. So, um, hi, cat. Thanks for showing up. So I'm just going to open this knot over my fabric. And I have not used the black. So I've got to pull this off. Knot over my fabric. Uh, and I'm going to get it all over me but I'm not going to get it all over my fabric. Uh, hopefully. I'm just going to scrape off. Wow, it is all over me, guys. So, so you know, I'm a wreck when it comes to getting ink on me. And I'm going to throw this away because I don't want it anywhere near what I'm working on. 
And I'm also going to wipe my hands off because you don't want ink on your fingers because it stays. So, so, oh, I made goulash for dinner tonight. I'm finding out that I have not restocked my kitchen in forever because last night I made chili and I ran out of chili powder. So I made um, chili with a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of cumin, and a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. It actually turned out really good. I didn't have any black beans, which I thought I had, so I ended up using um, a big can of cannellini beans and a small can of dark red kidney beans it was really good um i'm shocked so just so you know and then tonight i ran out of um pasta sauce for the goulash so derek had to run to the store after i got done making everything because i had no sauce to put into it um so yeah it was a good but everything turned out good all right, so now I'm putting on the ink. And like I said before, you go from one side to the other. Do not crisscross. Do not go diagonal. Just go one side to the other, um, nice and even, so that everything is uniform, okay? And it will sink in. It is cloth. It's going to sink in. So I'm going in the same direction. I'm not crisscrossing. I'm not going back and forth. I'm just going up and down on this. And I think, I'm really hoping that this turns out scrape and I'm going to pull up. I'm not going to let it sit this time. Crap. Okay, I'm not going to let it sit as long as I did before. I'm going to pull this up. All right. Drop that in there. Okay. Okay, so there, talk couture on my shirt. Cool. Um, and let's see, crap. I'm gonna have to lift it off of here, so I'm gonna be really careful, but first I'm going to clean this off and get it out of the way because I don't wanna leave that ink open while I'm messing with the t-shirt. I'm just going to clean this off really quick and throw this wipe away. I'm going to move that over there. I'm going to get another wipe. I'm going to have a lot of ink drying around here tonight. All right. And I don't know if I know, well, I know most of you guys aren't, weren't around when I started the video, um, but I'm going to be doing, I'm going to try and do a buffalo plaid um, on a tag board um, to get it ready for the Christmas um, transfers. Oh, crap. And um, so I'm going to try that after I'm done with the ink. I'm going to use paste. So I'm going to do that. I can't see you guys. I'm really hoping I'm not messing it up. Okay. So, uh, ha, 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 ha. okay, I think we're good. All right. So I'm going to hang this up. I'm going to let it dry. Okay. Move this. I don't have a whole lot of room here, guys. And then you don't realize when you're doing that, that you're holding your breath the whole time until you're just like, 
Um, and I totally forgot to cover that ink. I just cleaned off that squeegee and I forgot to cover that. So, it's lucky me. We're good though. Okay. So, I'm going to just gonna clean that up just a little bit. I don't know if this will ruin this or not. I hope not. But the sticky board will get the ink on it. Okay. Um, and I know with the chalk couture ones, you're supposed to clean them off with, um, just water. Um, but I am, I am not done with this one yet. I don't know why I just did that. Okay. Um, 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 um. okay. So this is my Toby bag. I love my boy. I miss my boy. He was a good, good dog. Um, and it says, I made this with Shutterfly. It says, love is a warm beagle. And it is. I love that boy. Yes. Um, but I think what I want to do is put this across the back of it. So, and we're going to do that with Tide. Okay. This whole thing tonight is to show you that ink is not scary. Ink, you have to be careful, but it's not scary. So all you have to do really is take your time and have a plan, okay? And nothing wrong with having a plan. And again, after it has set for 24 hours, I think you can wait. I think it can be less than that. I think you can let it dry overnight and it'll be fine. And you could do it in the morning, but I think 24 hours is a good amount of time. Um, then you take parchment paper, lay it over and iron that side for four minutes and then do the same thing on the other side. Okay. So, um, so let's get this on there. And again, no fuzzing because it's going on the material. Okay, there would be no point of fuzzing it. So that's the one good thing about ink. Okay, so let's try this yummy, yummy flavor of ink because I just love that color. It reminds me of the ocean. It reminds me of beach houses. It reminds me of my front door, which is the same color. Look at this color. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So, um, oh, which makes me think that I really do need to go with the small one. So I'm gonna clean this off just a little bit more because I just wanna make sure that there is no black on it. I don't want it to go into my Tide with any color on it, so. The alcohol helps it dry off quicker. So that's really good too. So while you're on here, feel free to like and share um, and get this out to as many people as you know. Um, I would really appreciate it. Um, I don't know if, if, uh, if anybody saw my post um, earlier, but um, apparently, Chalk Couture does a Black Friday sale, so I don't know a whole lot about it yet, um, but I am hoping to learn a little bit more, and um, I will let you guys know as soon as I know. Um, I know I can't wait to find out what it's all about. Okay. I am hoping that this works out because... It would really suck if I ruined the other side of this bag. Um, okay, so I did, it bled a little bit. It bled a little bit, and that was because I came back this way with the squeegee. I know that for sure. But um, but other than that, I think I think we're doing all right. I'm just gonna drop that in there. 
stuck in there. Uh oh, I got it all over my fingers. Okay. But I think, other than that, I think this is okay. Um, and like I said, I'm just learning with the inks, so, you know, I'm going to make mistakes, but I'm not upset with this. I think this is okay. I think I can deal with this. So, but once it's down, it's down. I can't clean that up. It's not going to wipe up, I don't believe. I'll try it. No, nope, it won't. So, and I'm not going to make it worse. So let's see. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. So, so there we go. Chalk tour. The things that are messed up are the U's. The U's messed up. So, and I wonder if it's because this isn't super sticky. I'm going to have to get a chalk tour sticky mat and see if that would have made a difference. The other thing I can do is I can't fix those U's, but like the C on the chalk isn't as dark as it could be. I can wait for it to dry and I can re paste or re ink that. And I think it'll be okay. So I'm not upset with this. This is okay. So now I'm going to put this away. I'm going to hang up my bag so it can dry. Hang this baby up. Let that dry overnight. And we got to clean those transfers. You'd think the black would stain more, but it doesn't. It's the reds that stain. So Every time I use a red, I love the way it looks, but oh my God, I dread cleaning it because I know that I am going to have a stained transfer. But I do like the reds. And um, I used a smaller towel at the party that I um, did a couple of weeks ago and I let it dry. It was covered, covered, covered with paste and from all the cleaning and I let it dry. I rinsed it out in the sink and I did a pretty good rinse and then I let it dry and I threw it in the um, wash with my other towels. And guys, it, um, it cleaned really, really well. There's hardly, you can't tell that it was used, um, with a bunch of different colors, you know, it's, it's in really good shape. So just so you know, you know, okay. And then let's clean this one off. And this part of chalking is cleaning, okay? You're, you're always going to have to clean your, your transfers if you want them to last. If you want to use it one time and never use it again, you don't have to clean it. But that's a waste of money. So, all right. So I'm just going to set this down. Let that dry. And this one needs to go with this. Set that aside. Actually, I gotta get rid of all that. Because the next transfer that I use for the Buffalo plaid, if you weren't here before, you're gonna see it's huge. Okay. Um and uh and it will it is the last thing I'm doing tonight because 
that does have to go in the bathtub to get clean and I just I can't step out and clean it in a minute you know that's a it's it's a it's 18 by 18 and it's not the easiest thing to um, to clean okay um, and I'm not kidding if you're starting out do not start with an 18 by 18 transfer start off with small the size a transfer start off with that and work your way up because um, these can be super super frustrating it's like getting your fingers stuck to transfers that you're trying to move okay my fingers are stuck to the transfer um, so let me just get this on here get it out of my way because I can't have a whole lot on here when I'm doing the big transfers they're they really are not the easiest thing and I've never used the Buffalo plaid transfer and honestly guys I'm a little um, intimidated by it but I keep seeing all these really cool um, projects that people are doing with the Buffalo plaid and I'm jealous I really um, the whole reason I bought it is because I really, really want to try the Buffalo plaid. What is that? Oh my God. All right. Guys, I had an ant in here. This warm weather is just freaking out the, the, I don't know where I got an ant. Unless it crawled up the side of the house and came in through the window. I hate that. But I've told the ants before, if you're in my house, you're going to die. Stay outside and you get to live. You know? Most of them have listened this year. My my uh, my mint is back too. I had mint growing outside the window, and that seems to keep the ants away. Um, and my my mint is definitely back this year. I've got chocolate mint, and I've got regular um, peppermint, peppermint or wintergreen. I think maybe wintergreen. I think I got rid of all my peppermint. Um, I have those growing around the outside of the house on the one side where the ants seem to like to come in. Um, I don't know if anybody else has problems with ants. They just drive me absolutely nuts. So, um, thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Um, okay. So I want to do the tag. Okay. I want to use the Buffalo print. All right. Now the question is, do we use, where is it? Do we use black velvet paste or do we use the scarlet paste? It's gotta be one or the other because I want a Christmas feel and I, I was thinking about doing the olive, but I think I want something, um, I don't think I want to use the olive as the background. I want to use that as an accent color, if, if depending on what I have um, to put on here. So it's either black or scarlet. So, and seeing as how the population has dropped off the face of the earth on this live, I'm gonna to have to make a decision. So, I think my decision is going to be, what is it going to be? Oh my God. And I have to fuzz this too. Fuzzing a large transfer is not fun. Um, which is why I bought two fuzzing uh, cloths in the first place. But, This side I don't want to use because I got the um, the shimmer on there. So I want to use that side only for cleaning shimmer from now on. So I think it's going to have to go like that. And I did see how somebody did theirs. I'll move this stuff around here. Um, they only pulled up part of the transfer and fuzzed part of it and then they did the other half of the transfer. So let me see if I can get this. Let 
I am so nervous about this one. Now I've heard, and I haven't seen anybody, I have never seen anybody do the, um, the buffalo plaid. So this is all serious, serious trial and error because I have no clue. Why is it not coming up? <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I think basically what I saw was, and this is the large buffalo plaid. There is a smaller one. There's like a mini buffalo plaid, but um, so I think with the larger transfers, I've seen them pulled back like this, and then they fuzzed it. Basically, like that, which, see, they're, they're not easy. They're, they're, they're easily, um, bendable. So, they stick on each other. <laughs> so. I'm just trying to to get a good fuzz on it so that it doesn't stick to my surface. So I really, I mean, I want it to stick to it, but I don't want it to stay on it. So, and then I'm just going to pull it back like that. All right. And I'm just going to be really careful. Like that. And fuzz it that way instead of trying to flop it down on top of it okay um, because it's it's really sticky guys it's really sticky okay and you want to make sure that it doesn't fold onto itself if it does fold onto itself don't try to rip it open um, uh, take it to the water and try to open it up that way um, and the, you can do it. You just have to be really careful. You don't want to ruin it. So, and I'm going to set this on and try to make it as even as possible so that everything looks copacetic on the other side. And then I'm going to lay down. My towel. Uh, okay, I'm going to lay down this one and then put it on top of this. Like that. So just bear with me. I am being very slow with this one because I don't want to um, fold it onto itself. Like I said, this is a big transfer and um, it's not, they're not the easiest transfers to use, especially starting out. Okay. Alright, so okay. I may end up getting the large squeegee so I can do bigger spaces like this in less time. Um because with the smaller squeegee it takes longer and the paste dries really quick. And you just wanna you just want to make sure that you have it pulled up so that it doesn't dry on the transfer. All right. So let's see. So I'm getting this cleaned up because I want to use this one again. I only have one small. I've got a bunch of minis, but I only have one small. Probably should change that and get some more. But I think I am going to get a large one, especially if I like this. I like if I like how it turns out. Like I said, I've never used the buffalo plaid before. And um, I love buffalo plaid, so I hope that it turns out. I still don't know what color I'm going to use. I don't know if I'm going with the scarlet or the black. I think I might go. What do I want to go with? 
I'm gonna go with the Scarlet. I'm gonna go with the Scarlet. And I have to see if this has to be mixed up, which it probably does. Which doesn't really matter because I think I've lost everybody. So, so I can just take my time, not worry if I'm wasting anybody else's time. So, let's see. Oh, I love the Scarlet. I do love the Scarlet. And now's the time we can start singing Christmas carols. Except today was beautiful. And the next seven days are going to be beautiful. So I'm not going to feel like singing Christmas carols. But... Man, I hope this turns out. Give it a little bit more water. Not a lot, but it's still not the consistency of yogurt. So, and with the ink, you really don't have to worry about it, but with the with the paste, you do. So, just giving it a good mix. So, hi, Colleen. Thanks for stopping in. Derek said he talked to you. He knows you're busy. So... But so thank you for taking the time out just to even stop in and take a look. All right. I'll put that there. So, okay. So the one tip that I did see about the Buffalo plaid is that you should go in the direction of, I'm going to set this down here. Sorry guys. I don't like it sticking to this table. Um, so I'm just going to set this under here so that it's setting on its natural um, surface, okay? Um, so what I saw with the buffalo plaid in tips and stuff is that you should go in the direction of the um, pattern, okay? So the pattern goes in this direction. So I'm going to try and do it all going in that direction. I'm sure I won't be able to do the whole thing like that, but I'm gonna try. Um, which means if I do it this way, it actually might work better. All right, so let's try it and see what we got. And this is going to be super stained up by the time I'm done. I do love the Scarlet though. I have a feeling I'm going to need to buy more and it's going to be out of stock when I go to buy more, I think, which will be awful. But it's a great Christmas color, this, because it's like the classic Santa suit color. And I should know Santa suits because, well, my boyfriend is Santa. so. Don't tell Mrs. Claus. Jeez, I almost feel like I should water it down just even a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to get a couple more blocks of this and then I'm going to lift it up. Because I'm afraid it's going to dry. And I'm not going to be able to to do anything about it in a minute so but I also feel like it's kind of thick so. all right so I'm gonna lift it up just a little bit All right, and that's the technique of chalk and pull. Okay. All 
I'm putting a lot down and I'm going to um, pull it all up in a minute. So now I'm going to pull up the excess. Your squeegee definitely has a put down side and a pull up side. Okay. So just remember that it is a tool and it does help you. Okay. All right. So let's see what we got. Don't stick to yourself. Don't. And it's going to, okay? Because it's big and it's unwieldy and it's sticky. So I'm going to set it down right there, okay? And I'm just going to show you. So there's our buffalo plaid. And when I figure out what transfer I'm going to use on it, we'll do that as well. But right now I'm just going to touch it up just a little bit because it got a little thick right there. Okay. And a little bit on the edge there, a little bit on the edge there. So, all right. So I'm going to set that down to dry. So yeah, one last look at it, guys. I've got paste all over me. Um, so there, there's the buffalo plaid. It looks kind of like a tablecloth, but for Christmas, it's gonna look a lot different, okay? So we will set that aside, let it dry, and I'm gonna go clean off this transfer and get it unstuck from itself. So, um, I might see you this weekend. I might not, but if I do, I will definitely put a shout out letting you know that I'm going to be on and we'll just go from there. Have a great night guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.